What's up guys, this is Merc Music and I'm bringing you guys a Flawless Gold Barrett's Mobe. Now before I talk about anything else for this video, I kind of want to give you guys some background information on the gameplay. Well first off, it's kill confirmed on C-Town. I'll say this, I did not play the objective as well as I could have and you know that's kind of disappointing because it's kill confirmed. But nonetheless, I just want to say that getting a mob can actually help your team in, you know, basically any game mode. And I'm going to talk about that later, but I want to talk about this for a little bit. I'm going to be in this building for a while. I, you know, pitch up my tent and I camp here. And uh, I'm not too proud of that, but regardless, it's still a very good game. And regardless of whether people or not will, you know, like this or hate this, um, getting a 41... KDR is not very easy to pull off so you know just take some tips from this you don't have to camp as badly as I do in this game but you know it just kind of goes in uh, hand in hand when it comes to getting an MOAB uh, I'm gonna camp in this building for a while go through a lot of different weapons aside from just the Barrett it's not a Barrett only mob you know that would be crazy I don't think I can pull that off but um I, I, I think it is possible I don't I don't think it's impossible to get a Barrett only MOAB, but I'm not going to title the video Barrett only MOAB because I mean look I've already gone through what like four weapons maybe and I'm a, I think the uh, the main weapon I pick up is the scar with the red dot as you can see here But regardless I do use the sniper for a decent amount of the game So I hope you guys just take that into consideration that I'm I'm kind of in a very uh, I'm in a close quarters Kind of building you know enemies are spawning everywhere around me and I kind of just have to defend myself with a better close range weapon and I know you can spray with the bear and things like that, but regardless, you know, I, I have to play kind of campy. Um, once I leave this building, I go to the building on the right. It's kind of hard to see right now, but uh, I am going to go to that building after because it kind of places you in a corner of the map and you can play a little bit more, actually way more defensively. And when it comes to getting a mob, you kind of have to take the mob kill by kill. It's not very easy, but... I think that's basically for the background information of this gameplay. Aside from that, I wasn't really intending to go for an MOAB. I believe the gameplay was recorded at like 1 in the morning or something like that. And uh, I, I was initially just recording to get these guys' reactions because they were fighting over race and things like that. They were just being really racist to each other. So, you know, it was pretty funny, but this is way better than just listening to a bunch of people make fun of each other for being like Puerto Rican and things like that. And uh, if you are Puerto Rican, then... It's no longer funny. <laughs> uh, just became a racial issue, but whatever. Um, I, I kind of want to give you guys some tips on how to get the mob. However, I don't feel like I'm in any position to give tips, especially since I am camping so... Look how dirtily I'm camping. I feel so filthy just sitting in this one building for most of the game. But regardless, I do want to give you guys some tips because this is how I felt it was most effective to get nukes in Modern Warfare 2. And in Modern Warfare 2, I was able to pull it off because I played very aggressively and then I kind of, you know, toned it down as I got my kill streaks. And you can do the same thing in this game. However, I don't recommend you use the support strike package because in this game I was. And that makes it very difficult to get the MOAB. Um, you don't get scavenger. You don't get all these great, great perks that you can't all use at once unless you're running the specialist. So, I'm just going to say, if you want uh, some very good tips on how to get a mob, then keep listening to this commentary and just keep watching me pitch tent in different areas. <laughs> but, regardless of that, I will say this. The specialist bonus does help you get a mob very easily. However, if you do want to use different kill streaks, this is what I recommend. I recommend you use UAV, um, Ballistic Vest, and Sam Turret. And you're going to wonder why... Uh, you would use those. Well, first, if you're using Hardline, because, um, actually, I do recommend you use Hardline along with that strike package setup. And the reason why is, one, it takes two kills to get the UAV to help you find more enemies. Then after that, if you get two more kills, you get Ballistic Vests, and that allows you to be a lot more aggressive and run around to get more kills. Then once you get the Sam Turret, you have to remember that you have gotten one Sam Turret. That's, you know, one set of eight kills. Then your kill streaks reset automatically. Then you just need two more kills again to get the UAV. Then if your Ballistic Vest has already worn off by then, you can get another one. And then once you get to the second Sam Turret, you've marked your two-thirds way through getting the mob. And that's only if you're running Hardline. Now, once your killsticks reset again, you know, you replenish the UAV, you replenish the Ballistic Vest, and then if you're using Hardline, once you get that last Sam Turret, you have the MOAV. That's a 24 kill streak. 
and basically you don't have to keep track of your kills as much. It's a lot easier because all you have to remember is, hey, I have gotten my third Sam turret, I should have the mob. And if you don't, I don't know, I don't know what to explain. I mean, I remember when this game first came out, I had what I thought was a 25 kill streak or something like that, and uh, I didn't get a mob. However, at the end of the game, the uh, the game told me I had a 25 kill streak as my highest kill streak, so that was really upsetting. But regardless, uh, you can very easily get a uh, a mob with the support strike package. It's not impossible. You can do it with any uh, strike package. You just have to keep in mind what's going to help you the most. I do recommend Specialist as the number one because you get all the perks to help you. Um, and I'm going to say this. If you're using Specialist, try to pray, try to pray aggressively. Oh my god. Try to play aggressively so that way you can get your Specialist bonus as fast as possible. Then, you know, kind of take it kill by kill. I recommend that you try to get 10 to 15 kills as quickly as possible. And then, you know, just kind of take the last 10 kills or last 9. I don't even... I'm not going to go into numbers, but you know, just try to get the majority of the kills by playing aggressively and then take the rest of the game pretty slow because you're going to feel very disappointed if you die while you're one away. Uh, it's happened to me numerous times. As a matter of fact, last night when I was playing, I was playing Hardcore Domination on Outpost, I believe. I was using the Model 1887 and I was rushing the crap out of the other team. However, when I was five away from getting it and I was just making, you know, not very smart decisions and just lost focus and... They were, it completely threw away the mob possibility because I got shot in the back by a silence mark 14. But regardless, I pulled a pretty good score and uh, that gameplay will be uploaded some other time. I don't know when it's going to be, but yeah, I called in the mob and um, some other tips. Uh, once you get the mob, it's very easy to run around the map and play more aggressively at the start because, you know, uh, the, the, the enemy team is EMP'd for 60 seconds. So that makes it very easy to play more aggressively after you've you know, it, at least if you play it like me, after you've camped your ass off, you're able to run around the map. <laughs> and I still, I still played, you know, pretty defensively. I wasn't, it's not like once I stopped camping, I was going to, you know, just start rushing around because I was in the defensive mode. That's just how I was playing for the majority of this game. But regardless, guys, um, you know, it's very hypocritical to give you guys tips saying, go rush for your mobs, you know, play aggressively when I'm not doing it myself. Which really sucks, but I do have some other MOB gameplays, and I plan on sharing those with you guys. Um, yeah, and god, that was... I hate Final Stand so much, and I, I'm pretty sure you guys do too, because it is just so frustrating. It, it can ruin things in a heartbeat, whether it's clips or gameplays, it just does that. So, my final score was 41-0. to zero. I'm pretty sure I spoiled the KDR at the beginning, but I just wanted to tell you guys that pulling off a 41-0 to zero is not very easy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And uh, I will be uploading more because I'm on break now, so I hope you guys look forward to seeing more videos from me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, follow my YouTube channel updates, and open lobby posts. Become a fan of Merc Music on Facebook by clicking the link down in the description below. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel for future videos that I will be releasing. And as always, guys, don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks, guys.